to surrender our faults. All lawyers to surrender our faults. Hey everybody and welcome back to 3COG. Today we're going to talk about these. These are uh, combat pants, obviously in M81 uh, Woodland. And I got these off of Amazon. The real conversation is whether or not they're uh, decent and how they compare to uh, Cry Precisions. So these are G4s. These are G4 summer weights from Cry. And then I have uh, G4 standard uh, combat uniform as well. Uh, but this is really about these Amazon special ones right here, uh, how they compare and if they're any good. So long story short, yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, I will say the knee pads that they come with are garbage. Do not use them. They do not have enough padding. Um, they are not great. But the good thing is, is that the standard real uh, cry precision knee pads fit into these perfectly fine. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so why would you buy these instead of cries? Well, they're cheaper. Um, these pants are about $90 on Amazon. Link down below where you can pick one up. Uh, and if you use the link, I make a couple bucks. I appreciate you. So these are 90 bucks, and then compare that to the actual cries where the pants are $270 or $280. And then the knee pads, which these come with the crappy knee pads. Uh, the knee pads are another 50 bucks. <clears throat> so if you get these off of Amazon and they're available in other camouflage patterns, uh, you get these off of Amazon and then you order a set of the real knee pads, you're into the pants for about $120, $130. So that means you could have two complete sets of pants with knee pads and everything for the price of one Cry Precision set without the knee pads. So with the knee pads, Cry Precision Combat Pants, you're looking at 230 bucks plus shipping. So these are pretty much a copy of the Cry Precision uh, G3s. So, and overall, I've been very happy with them. I've worn them through a bunch of different events now, went through uh, a military obstacle course in these, uh, did a bunch of running in these, um, done a bunch of shooting in these, and overall, I am pretty impressed for the price point. So let's go through and uh, walk you through the feature. So it has a zippered fly, has a, a Velcro enclosure here, which is very similar to the real thing. Uh, then you got your standard dip can pockets on the front, and those have the adjustable lanyards for adjusting the height of your knee pad, <clears throat> which is nice. Uh, now I've never worn Cry Precision G3s. I've only ever worn G4s. And on these, the, the elastic cord that holds it up is visible on the inside of the pants. Uh, on the Cry Precision G4s, it's not. It's sewn in the whole way inside of the pants, all the way down to, your, uh, to the knee part. So it's covered up. So in this case, you can feel the cord on the front of your leg. It's not the end of the world, but it is a difference. So I don't know if the Cry G3s, if they run inside or uh, if they're covered up by material or not, but on these, these copies are made by Emer, Emerson, Emerson Gear, Emerson Gear. Um, well, yeah, they are visible. Um, so nice wide belt loops, lanyard attachment points, all the regular stuff there. The stitching is decent. The material is a uh, ripstop, which is nice. Um, like I said, your standard front pockets, that's where the adjustment is for the, <clears throat> for your knee pads. Up from there, you've got two pockets, uh, one on each side for a knife. So, multi, a large multi-tool fits right in there very nicely. Does a good job of keeping that secure. The back pockets <clears throat> have zippers as well. And then you have the stretchy material across the uh, right underneath your belt line on the back and at the front on the knees around the knees and in the crotch which is actually a really really good thing if you run around and stuff like that 
Down from there, so back pockets, you got regular cargo pockets on the side. <clears throat> and the cargo pockets have some, uh, have a, a loop of uh, elastic to hold stuff inside your cargo pocket. Obviously the knee pad pouch. Um, and then these are pretty cool because if you're not wearing the knee pads, So if you're not wearing that knee pad, there's this flap, which is the same camouflage material. And so rather than just have a hole where dirt and sand collects, if you're not wearing the knee pads, you can just Velcro that back in and that covers up the hole where that was going to be. So that's good. And then down to the bottom, you got your little pockets down at your ankle. Uh, I normally run a tourniquet in my bottom left one and combat gauze in my bottom right one. And at the bottom, it is adjustable. If you need it to blouse them up, you can. And the knee pad is tensionable for tensioning around your leg. So that's, that's these. So yeah, now I've worn them running and gunning, and like I said, obstacle courses, a uh, bunch of bunch of runs, and they work really well. Uh, I'm not mad at it at all for for about 90 bucks or 80 bucks, whatever it is. Hang on, I've got it pulled up. Uh, 89 dollars. Um, I think they're very good. I don't think they're as good as Cry Precisions. I think they're good enough for what most people are going to use them for. Uh, using them in competitions and uh, some other activities and they're holding up very well. I'm very impressed. The sizes are decent. Um, so with Cry Precision, they run a little large on their size. Uh, these, um, these are 36s and they fit my waist good. My Cry's are 36s and they're actually a little loose. And these do have the waist adjustment piece as well so if you need to tension up your waistline there's a stretchy piece here that you can pull and make that tighter or looser to make the pants fit better but yeah i mean in reality like if you can if you can spend 320 bucks on cries and you're not going to miss the money then i think the cries are better pants but i think most people who want some of the functionality the built-in knee pads which i love but like i said get the real cry ones don't use the other ones um they work very, very well. So I absolutely recommend them. Um, they're, they're good. And uh, like I said, link down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on 3COG.